Welcome back, my beauty squad. If you're new, it's your girl Jessica, and we got some PR today. Yay, yay, hooray! We got some PR to play. Blah blah blah. blah. And I get my PR none other than Miss Busy Beauty. If you do not know who I'm talking about, she is a reseller of makeup products, skincare products, hair products. You can find her over on IG at Busy Beauty Store. And I always keep her link down to her IG down below in my description box. Go over and send her a DM if you are looking for an affordable makeup box created just for you. And you're not quite sure to know what you want, but you kind of got an idea what you want. You need that little month to go. Or if it's just that time of month and you want to spend a little bit of money on yourself or on a loved one. If it's that year, you know, somebody's birthday, special occasion, anniversary, what have you. These boxes are amazing for anything. Your price range is what you make it. The minimum is $50. And then you can just play with your heart's content. Whatever you want to spend in it. Do you know whatever you put into this box is what you get out of this box. You cannot go in one of those $50 box full of Jeffree Star products or Natasha Nona products. You know, but she does make them epic. Regardless, you spend $50 or 100 these boxes are epic. I highly, highly recommend you go check her out. Just send her a quick little DM. If you're interested in what she's all about, she could do all skincare. She could do no skincare. She could do hair products, no hair products. She could do eye makeup. She can do no makeup. Depending on your preference, your likes, or what have you, go stock up with Busy Beauty. If you are just looking to stock up and, you know, stock your collection up for your makeup, this is the best and easiest way to do it. Go hit her up. Let her know about your price range. Kind of idea of the items that you want. She can tell you whether or not if that's playable or not. If not, y'all figure out something. You know, sometimes you have to exclude something to get something else that you wanted even more without even realizing you wanted some more. If you go in with an affordable box, you will get affordable products, but they're amazing. None of it's crap. None of it. Like, it's all amazing, great quality stuff that she would not sit here and have stock just to send out. This is good quality makeup, regardless, affordable or bougie. It's amazing. So make sure you go check out Busy Beauty. And if you're new, do you know what to do? Hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on. That way you get notified for all of my stuff. It's me being me in a nutshell. But I will see y'all over in a video. So guess what today is? Y'all, when I open up my door, let me just say, the bell lady did not like me today. I've had a couple packages lingering back. And I had quite a few today. Quite a few. I had Alien Cosmetics, Gerard, Ipsy. My PR is here, so that's what we're getting into first and foremost. My candles, my hula hoop. Like, I had quite a few boxes. So, first and foremost, y'all know what this bad boy needs. It is PR time. I try to find somewhere like stable to open this because my table is over slammed right now because I haven't had time to come over here and organize nothing. So, let me see. I gotta take some of this bubble wrap out. Try to get it up and loaded first and foremost. And then I'll worry about my boxy char or Ipsy and all that good stuff. Alright. So, let's go ahead and uh, show y'all. I got everything laid out on my table for the most part. So, I think it's okay see because it's still in a package. But this is the Bump Erase Body Scrub for Sensitive Skin. I love First Aid Beauty. It's such amazing. This is Glam Glow Super Mattified. This is my favorite, all time favorite primers. This is what it looks like in a box. I'm not going to open that one because I still have this one. But I'm going to show y'all. So you get a little spatula. That is hella dirty. But you get a little spatula. And that is, see how much I've used. And I haven't had this long. But you take a little bit off at a time and like rub it in your fingers and to activate it. Super cool. Hella cool. And it works so amazing because I have texture all right here. 
and it really like modifies that for me. Then we have some milk makeup. This is a ooh reversible tip. Okay, this is a Kush liquid liner. I love some milk makeup. I have a foundation I need to try them. I don't think I'm trying it yet. But this is the tip. And so they say you can take this tip out and turn it over when it dries out, which is cool. You could do that with a lot of liners. I saw a hack on it. So just keep that in mind before you go to toss a favorite liner. If it's one that you really, really like and you want to kind of like save it, see if you can turn the tip around. Just take like some tweezers and turn it. This is a Natasha Denona. Aya, Aya, Aya. This will be going into my 2K giveaway because I have this palette. It is gorgeous. I'm so glad that I kept mine because now I'm one of y'all lucky winner, uh, lucky subscribers and get a chance to win this one when I reach 2K. It's not, yeah, it's weird. So I do know when it just takes the top. Then we have a hip dot product, the Lush. Yes, please. I love a good Lush. This is. See what I talk about? Some good packaging. You don't want me taking half the, the bubble wrap off. I still get bubble wrap. So this is Smith and Colt Book of Eyes Eye Quad Palette. Ooh. Oh, look at the detail. It looks like somebody beat it up right there. Look how it's like not in there regular. My OCD would bother me so freaking bad looking at this palette. Like leave it on my table and look at it like that. I don't know what's the design, but I'm like, it's not straight, it's not straight, it's not straight, it's not straight. I want to swatch these. I'm not going to swatch everything just because I know Stephanie sends me so much, but I do want to swatch these because I don't have a lot of Smith Cole products. I think I had a uh, uh, no polish from them before. Ooh, that is pretty. That is so pretty for the fall, y'all. Excited. I didn't used to get so excited for smaller pal palettes, but I do now. Ooh, I see another palette I already have. So this is the Ajarjani palette from Peachy Queen. I have this palette, but I'm going to show you on the inside of it. Stephanie says, sometimes sends me doubles so I can put into giveaways or what have you. And, you know, sometimes we just clearly forget what she says. I know I do. Especially if it's been a little bit. Palette limited edition. Look how pretty. See, I love stuff for that. I love the mood and stuff. So, I know a lot of y'all already see this palette. If y'all have BoxyCharm base, then y'all probably got this palette last month. I don't have BoxyCharm base. So, I did not receive it. And I was like hella bugged because, you know, the first, sorry, that's Luna. The first month, I kind of skipped the base and switched to Ipsy. They had a good palette. But, I mean, I don't know if it's a good palette. I haven't tried it myself, but it's a pretty palette. Let's rephrase it to that. It's a pretty palette. And I was so bummed. And so she did go on add ons and grab it for me. Thank you, Stephanie. These are. Let's try it for. Ooh, I see some half baked. I don't have a lot of half baked products. I have a couple of lippies, I like. But I don't think I have any eyeshadows. So I'm actually excited to see this. This is Pretty Princess. And lip gloss. My lip gloss, my lip gloss, we pop it. Ooh, Jasmine, I'm going to try to steal this for me. This is super pretty. Oh, it smells like soap. I figured with it half baked and have a donut on it, I thought it would smell pretty good because the packaging gives you that vibe that it's going to smell good. And then this is the Snack Pack Nine Pigment Palette. Mm. So this is what it looks like. <sighs> Stephanie knows me too well. Look how pretty. And like I said, I haven't tried any half baked eyeshadows, so this is going to be very unique for me. Let's try Y'all. Do y'all see that pigment? Hello. Okay. Half cake. I don't know why I keep saying half baked. Half cake. Not half baked, half cake. That is gorgeous. Then we have Tarte High Performance Naturals 
fall feels it's a eye and cheek palette i love tarte i gotta get some more foundation from tarte but i love tarte look at the package in me these plastic pieces are not going well today look how pretty i love the packaging i'm a sucker for packaging i will show y'all the outside of the box too just in case if y'all are interested in for this palette this is what it looks like y'all make sure y'all send some people over to be the back and better than ever y'all know she just went through that horrible hurricane but she's back up and running and ready for some business y'all so if you've never heard of Busy beauty where you been first of all second of all she is a reseller meaning she does not make this makeup herself these are not her breads this is her reselling other mark breads so if you would like a curated makeup box skincare box hair box what have you beauty box hit her up over on ig i always 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 have her link down below with her ig just go over shoot her dm be like hey you know i'm a beauty squad member and i just checked out jessica's video or miss renee's video or whoever's video you might have seen and be like i want to get me a curated box she does have a minimum it's 50 bucks but because shipping is so expensive that is not bad at all like not at all a most a large box costs anywhere from 21 to 25 dollars to ship a medium is 15 a small box is seven to ship so you take that included with like other items now you cannot go in and expect a jeffree star natasha denona or kim kardashian or Charlotte Tilbury box for 50 bucks. That's just not how it rolls. She is the makeup magic genie, but she is not that damn good. She creates off of what you're able to spend. So you basically, it's not a mystery box. You pick the items you want in there. If you're wanting to spend $150, you're going to get over $250 value. Promise you. But you kind of curate what you want. If you want to spend $60 on a certain palette, then she kind of works around that on what your budget is. So you set your budget. You tell her what kind of items you like, you don't like, what your preference is. A lot of people do go in and be like, hey, this is what I got. Here's $150. Make your magic. And that's when she does her magic the best. Because for her to be able to like pick a play and do whatever is awesome. But you can curate all the way from the first to the last item in the box. Just go over and shoot her DM. Let her know. I sent you over. And let's get her some business. I love seeing her boxes out. So these are some MAC lashes, which are gorgeous. And y'all know, I've been getting back into my lashes a little bit better. Oh, they slide out. Like that, okay. Then I've been doing a little bit more epic looks. I guess that's like the only word to say for it. Big looks. So I've been navigating towards lashes more because it kind of like brings the look together. Right, let's take a little break for the palette first. She did get me the Cream Shop Power Fuse Cleaning 30 Pre Wet Towelettes, Watermelon, and Hydro Acid. I need one of these bad boys. She knows exactly when to send me makeup wipes. I swear, because I am completely out. I have to go grab me some more from the store. My girls literally used to give me some. This is leave on for eight to 10 minutes. That will be going into the bathroom right away. We also have some facial radiant pads. Helps exfoliate tones. It brightens first aid beauty. Absolutely love these. I've done use every single pack I've got. Still sealed, guys. Like she doesn't play when it comes to her items. Our stuff are still sealed. Unless it doesn't come with a seal, then she can't help it. But if it comes with a seal, it's just if it comes with a seal, it's still sealed. Now mind y'all, I did just wash my face, but I want to show y'all because I'm pretty sure there's something on here. I haven't done my makeup in a couple of days. My has been off and it's kind of hard to bounce back from a two week break. Not going to lie, to get back into routine of things. And so, you know, it's been hard to concentrate and sit down and actually film. I do think I've been, see, look, ugh. I do think I've been battling with a little bit of self-depression and I can kind of feel when that kicks in because I shut down. I don't like really talking to nobody. Uh, you know, I don't want to film. I don't feel up to filming. Even if I like push through it and I try to film, don't nothing come out the way I want it to. So I, I end up scratching it, like, you know, throwing it away or whatever. And so, yeah, I've kind of been in that rut. And then it's been aggravating because I've been trying to upload this one video for two weeks now. And yes, it's my fault because it's a long video, but it should not be this much freaking hard. It shouldn't be. Like, shouldn't it be? It's difficult. 
We got the Bubble and Bubble Beach Bag Trio. I have Shawn DeFrio's hair in Enhanced Waves. Ooh, yes. Ooh. So this is what the bag looks like. Ain't they cute though? It's so super cute. I like it with the little ones. And see, this lasts me a while because I used to rock the bubble bath for a little bit. That is so pretty. I'm gonna have to have this one because my girls are probably trying to whittle. Them. Do not tell. Then we have some watermelon burst hydrated eye patches because I always forget my sunscreen. This is a must for me. I've seen some sunscreen sticks. I've never had one. How freaking cute though. So it just winds up and you. You rubbery? That's cool. I love the aesthetic of this. It's like a matte finish. Put her up here. I used to get the boxes every month. But there's all oh, so much Lorella I need from one brand. Like it was like $25, $25. I'd say $25. Really great deal for a uh, you know a makeup box every month. You got a palette and you usually got like tools and stuff with it. You got four or five items for the price. It was not bad at all. Well worth it. But at the same time, like, I, I, I push back on some of my purchases. Look how pretty. It's so, like, so pretty. So this is the cap. Oh, yes. A real mister. I feel so freaking like, look at my skin. Doused myself. Because I've got to do a look later. Anyways. W there. Then we have some ultra repair cream. I love this junk. This is good for bug bites. This is good for eczema. This is good for. Well, let, me, I, let me just read this to y'all. Because this bad boy is good for everything. This is good for eczema, rashes, poison ivy, oak, cytomatic and insect bites so anything you are itchy from this will help cure it my son even burnt his finger and i i put some of this on it and it did take some of the stink out of the burn i burnt right here with a curling iron a couple weeks ago curling my daughter's hair this helped take some of the stink out this is the best cream if you have kids or if you have like your little first aid beauty little cabinet in the bathroom i think this is essential especially if you live around insect prone houses like i live out in the country there's always mosquitoes ants what have you my kids go outside to play they come in mommy ouchie ouchie i got you ouchie ouchie this is a bad night and you're good boom or if your kid has eczema i have like little dry punches i get a lot this helps a lot to moisturize it without irritating it and that's the key you don't want to irritate and this is like really quite clean and nice I'm not going to open this one because I still have a little one that has a little bit left because I've been using a hell out of it over the summer. But it does have a little bit left. Ooh, we have a liquid glitter eyeshadow, Mermaid Shimmery by e.l.f. Y'all, this is really pretty. I don't have a lot of e.l.f. products, but I really do like e.l.f. I just don't navigate to buy them a lot. I guess I don't go to Walmart a lot. I do a lot of my shopping online. And I try my hardest to grab up like indie brands and stuff like that. I'm gonna invest my money. Look. Like, I, I really try my hardest to um, help promote other indie brands and other small businesses because I consider myself as a small business. I am the business itself, you know, beauty influencer. It is a career choice, but it, I am very small. So, hand in hand, I like to support the small businesses. Look how pretty. Then I have the. Shady Beach Tart and C Glass and C Glass Eyeshadow. So I have two different ones. This is Life's a Beach. It has like that green undertone. I got this one last month. And then I thought they were the same, so I wanted to pull them out to make sure. And this is Shady Beach. <laughs> look at it at first glance. They kind of look alike. But they are not. This has a purple undertone and this has a green undertone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can so tell the difference now. 
All right, so top is Shady Beach. Life's the beach, and then the elf. Thank you, Stephanie. As if, is this a lip gloss or eyeshadow? I think this is a lip gloss. Yeah. I love a clear, glossy lip. And this little bad boy is so tiny. You can put it in your pocket. And you can go and look pretty. CBD glossy lip butter. This is by Truly. I love freaking Truly. Anything is definitely sending me Truly. I love it. Look. And I'd rather use lip oils or butters to gloss any day. I don't like the stickiness. It smells really nice too. Rub butter onto lips thoroughly at the day for plump, hydrated lips. Did you lip it up to you? I don't know about the plumpness, but these look cool. Ooh, bright lights by Peaky Rose. Oh, I got a couple of Peaky Rose palettes. I love them. I need to get Peacock and 80s. Oh, this is how gorgeous. That feels really nice on the lips. Not even going too long about that one. I'm super excited to try this palette because all my other Pinky Rose fans fabulous. Bright colors and all. Yeah. I'm going to cry. I'm legit going to cry, but I'm going to show y'all last. So I got me some Body and Bass Work Champagne Toast, Pocket Sanitizer, Hand Sanitizer, whatever y'all want to call it. The baby hand sanitizer. I love this mess. I love having it right here on my desk. Because I will just periodically, you know, Good. Then we have some more cream liners. I have boots and for the feet. Ooh. Uh, uh. Look how pink. That is epic gorgeous. Which one is this one? This is another pink. Look how pink. Oh, this is a baby Barbie pink and a bright ass neon pink. Look at that. Oh, can you see? Yeah, I'm always in some graphic liners here lately. Then we have one of my favorite brands, Urban Decay. Has it her way? This is the Pop Queen 80s eyeshadow palette. I saw these and I wanted them, but I can't grab them. I'm glad she got it before me. Look how pretty. See, this is why I wanted it. This shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. I love Urban Decay formula. They're really, really pretty. Let me swatch that, that one right there. It's kind of like a little topper. Not nothing fantabulous, like boom in your face, but it's still there, and it gives it that little shine on top. Now they got super cute. Look, it's a little cassette. Do y'all know what a cassette is? Comment down below if you were around whenever you had cassettes in your car. Not CDs, not MP3s, not Bluetooth, cassette players. I wasn't around for, uh, what do you call them? The eight tracks and all that. I'm not that old. Jump shame if you thought I was, but I'm not that old yet. But I was around for the cassette players. Last, oh no, no, oh, that's it a little bit more. I'm getting ahead of myself. The Natasha Denona Chrome Crystal Liquid Shadows. Oh, look at these. Gorgeous. I can't wait to play with these. I gotta hurry up, y'all, because I want this video to upload. This is Bomb Babe NCLA Beauty um, Natural Lip Balm. Birthday cake. 
and it smells like birthday cake. And she gave me two of them. Oh, this is bomb, baby, and this is sugar, sugar. So this is a lip scrub and a lip balm. So she didn't give me two of them. She gave me two different ones. Usually, if she throws me two, I know why. It's the jazz one. My lips are gonna be gorgeous this winter. Mm hmm Okay. Now we're on last but not least. Y'all ready for this? Look how cute! I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's so flipping cute. And it's puffy. I see something in here, but I don't see nothing in here. Alright, we're about to see what's in here. Y'all, it has a little fuzzy ball on the side. I want to show y'all. I don't want to mess it up. Look. Look, it has a doggy. And you can take these off and actually put them on your keychain. <laughs> I feel like Ernest T when I did that. So we got some bubbles. Stephanie. She always she always blows my mind every freaking month, I swear. I wanna cry. But I'm not going to. But I wanna cry. I can't get it out. I love the bag. The bag is not going nowhere. Hanging till she got me the collection high tide that I think is freaking gorgeous. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A lot to be done with that. Look how pretty the palette is. Oh my goodness. I'm beside myself. And then two shop shadows. I'm beside myself. It's so amazing. I'm glad it's on the palette. Look at the shade. I love the shock waves. Super shocks. I don't know which one I like better though. I guess I gotta swatch this one to find out. Oh my goodness. I like this one better because it's lighter, but for this for the outer corner and this the inner corner. I need to do a mermaid look with this palette. ASAP, it's about pink. I need to take this whole bundle, this whole PR box, and do a legit, sorry, mermaid inspired look throughout this whole palette. I mean, this whole bun palette, whole box. I can't talk. Then, last but not least, and I was not expecting this at all, the Clover palette. I have the highlighter, the bronzer, and the baby Clover palette, but I don't have the big one. Look at the daggone doggies, yes! Oh my goodness. Um, it's the tin case. And I heard tell that the tin cases are better quality than the cardboard case. I don't know. I like Too Faced. I've never had a problem with Too Faced. I do know that some people don't like them for their holiday palettes, but this is not a holiday palette. Look at that dual shift. Y'all thought, like, these ready started coming out with dual crap, dual shifts. The Too Faced already have it in their palette. 
it might not be as like boom in your face these little curls but it's still dirt dosha and you build it up so this is best friends good boy tf mascot spoiled and puppy eyes okay look at that see that brown it has like a blue shift to it okay see it on my finger i need to see it better on my finger Mm -mm. that color right there. I don't know what it is about these blues and greens here lately deep in the shits for me it's the pop of color for me I see Stephanie already knows me can you see the little thing going on here y'all like all the blues and greens I'm excited. I can't deny it. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Oh hell yeah, I like it. So I love y'all. This is my PR. Again, if you do not know who she is, please go down below in, the IG, in my description and check her out over on IG. You will not be disappointed at all. Period. Y'all just seen the goodies I got. No, you cannot get the same exact boxes I get because the she puts a lot in it, and everybody's different. It's curated around your preference and needs and wants so every box is unique in its own single way this is just kind of give you an idea of what she has available at her store so you can kind of see what she has already available for others a little rough draft what she has so i love y'all and i will see y'all in my next video we'll be really soon hopefully i got a couple coming back to back so make sure you stay tuned